Hello, Green Bountiful YouTube Empire. I'm your host, Gene Fernal, and welcome back to Broken Age. When we last left off, well, I found the mother, and we are now going to the homeworld. Mirakai? Yes? But, today we're going to be playing with Shay. Who is still in Mary Loft? Okay, what do I need to do here? Hmm. Is this one of your materials? Great, you got one. May I ask if you heard about us at work, home, from a friend, or other? Uh, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, and thanks for taking our survey. <laughs> Anybody want a cupcake? Oh, thanks, but I can't. Something about eating my daughter's face. Ah, Husker. That's the best part. <laughs> Ugh. In fact, that's the only part I eat. I'm off gluten. You know. <laughs> well, thank you for ruining my cupcake. So I haven't gone down there Not yet. Good. I haven't gone down there yet. See what's up with these guys. <clears throat> what happened to this place? Haven't you ever been to the Maiden's Feast? I want to say no, but I'm worried the answer is yes. Um, do you know this guy? No one should ever have to go to a Maiden's Feast. And no one ever will again, if I can have anything to do with it. I'm cool with that. What exactly is a Maiden's Feast? Something we've always had to do. So we were told, and we believed it. We thought it a great honor. We were so happy for Vela. So proud of her. So foolish. So, Maiden's Feasts are bad, then? My daughter taught us that when she fought the monster. You see, it didn't destroy the town. It just ran away. She was right the whole time, all those years. All those girls. For nothing. I'm not sure if you want to hear this, Morelia, but you're actually cheering me up right now. Is there anything I can do to help? I just want to find my daughter, to beg her forgiveness and tell her how proud of her I am. Please, please be my mother. <laughs> what were you guys talking about when I walked up? I was just trying to cheer up this young lady here. But she's just starting to realize what a loser I am. You are not. Then why didn't Mog Chothar pick me? Well, uh, I'm not sure, honey. Maybe he was in a hurry. Um, who are you again? <laughs> My name is Shay. I'm not from here. Listen, Twyla. It's time to move on. And do what? The Maiden's Feast is the only thing I've prepared for all my life. Well, I'm sure you're good at lots of other things. Like, uh, let me think. Swinging? You making fun of me? <laughs> Algebra. Nope. Not part of maiden's training. 
fixing spaceships? No, we don't have many of those around here. Well, at least your costume is cool. Oh, thanks. Made it myself. You made that stunning dress by yourself? That's amazing, Twyla. Meh. That lot of good it did me. Then, do you think you make me a costume? You think you could make me a costume? Huh? Oh, I think that would be a great thing for you to do, Twyla. Well, maybe if you had a pattern and some material, maybe I could whip something up. Okay, I'll get a pattern and the material and be right back. <gasps> oh, exciting! Anybody need a crochet hook? Never learned how to crochet. Probably just be terrible at it. Alright, well, let's see what I can do. Why would they build a fountain for that one, though? Or is this some kind of... What? That was weird. Take us! Take us down! <laughs> we are in our prime! Eat our sweet rewards! Wait, How do they even get wait, up here? Wait. I'm not comfortable with that. Yeah, that's a little... Eat our sacred... How about we just skip that line? Okay. We'll return in time. Let our child rise from its rotten bed. Hey, are you those guards who stole Alex's radiation-proof curtains? Without admitting any wrongdoing, what's it to ya? If you give me back those robes, I promise Alex won't press charges. First of all, we didn't steal anything. Secondly, we're naked under here, so no way you're getting our robes. If you want them, you're going to have to fight us for them. I'll fight you for those robes, no problem. I need them to help my mom. Oh, that's so sweet. He wants to help his mother. And he's willing to beat us up with a stick to do it. No, I'm not going to beat anybody up. But I will easily disarm the both of you. I've completed several fencing missions with my yarn pals. So if you have another stick handy... We don't have any fencing sticks handy, Mr. Fancy. But if you find one, feel free to come back and try to take our robes from us. I'm going to get a stick, and then we're going to fight for those robes. <laughs> Why don't you go get some yarn instead? <laughs> yeah, we'd love to meet one of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys looking for a tree to talk to? Because I saw one down in the forest that might actually talk back. Oh, no thanks. We know that weirdo. We're here because this is the tree with the fruit. The fruit, that is. Oh. Yes. Well, that's why they. That was really came here. convincing, Courtney. Thanks. I did the pause just like you said. What are you guys doing up here? We are the former Dead-Eyed Druids. Misled and betrayed by a false prophet, we have come to seek wisdom from the Tree of Answers. Why do you think this tree has answers? Okay, honestly, it wasn't our first choice. We really came up here because we heard about this guru of lightness that a lot of people were following. But apparently <sighs> he's out of commission. So we remembered this fruit, and since it was the answer to the riddle of Yorn, maybe it's the answer to everything. Just because the fruit was the answer to one riddle. Too many questions. This is a matter of faith. Also, we really need this to work, because we've run out of stuff to believe in. Yeah, we're kind of at the end of our robes. Aww. I'll be back. Yeah. That's what the Jedi God said. <laughs> Up from a hidden pit. Uh oh. Oh, more fruit. Oh. How's the fruit? 
it's a little on the tangy side, to be honest, but you know, the game is always sweetest to the hunter. So, what kind of hunter are you? I've been trying to get this fruit all day, but I had some issues, and, and I almost gave up. But I went to the arcade and beat my own high score on 3D Hyper Crypt, and I was like, if I can do that, I can do anything! You know? Of course. Everyone knows video games are good for your self-esteem. <laughs> What's that thing you're sticking in the fruit? Oh, this little tapper thing? That's so I can skip all the skin and fiber and just drink the juice right away. Juice, you know? That way all the phytonutrients and stuff get in your bloodstream faster. For when you want to get healthy in a big hurry, man. Hey, can I borrow that little fruit tapper? Yeah, actually, I've been thinking the acid or something in the fruit is messing with the coating on this thing. And give it a weird taste. You can have it. I'll just squeeze it out natural. Thanks. Don't worry. I don't have a cold or anything. Well, I'll be. Able to, I wonder what I'll be able to use What's that a for. Big healthy rush. Well, recently I was all hung up on my own under, on my underlying issues, and I had some time to think. And then this girl hit me. I, I mean, uh, it, it hit me. I need to turn my life around. Then I got that high score at the arcade, and now here I am, the king of health! So how are you going to turn your life around? Well, like, what's the next step from here? Uh, probably go back to the arcade, you know, look for another sign. Lots of other high scores to beat, man. So why are you going to turn your life around? Well, at first, it was because of this girl, McGee. I imagined her cheering me on through each level in 3D Hypercrypt. But then when I reached the end, I realized... McGee doesn't care about 3D hypercrypt. She doesn't play video games. No, she thinks the 3D is a gimmick. She only plays the original. But what I'm saying is that the high score, the juicy, it's okay if it's just for me. I'm not doing this to, uh, to impress anybody, you know? That's good. <laughs> Drinking all that juice, don't you have to use the bathroom a lot? I'll let you in on a little secret. When you live in the clouds, you're never very far from a bathroom. Oh, there are people down below. I was just down below. Hey, watch the skies, man. I'll let you get back to your juice. <sighs> Bye. Yes, get, get back to your juice. I'll just be over here. is no more dangerous than one of my fake missions. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. That egg looks like it's having a little trouble hatching. Maybe I should... Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Ow. Happen if I carefully inserted this tapper. Not very deep, of course. Just into the outer layer of the shell. Uh, I, I was just trying to get a sample. Uh. Oof. Hatch. Oh, it's so cute. I was close. I'd better get out of here before she remembers to kill me. I totally knew that little bird was ready to hatch. That's why I gave it a little help. I wonder if we can use the shells for anything. Now look at that. Hey there. 
Why are you beating up? Okay, back to your lessons. On your feet! How can I get... Maybe you would fight better with a crochet hook. We actually started with chopsticks. We only just graduated up to the big step. It's harder to poke myself in the eye with this. Hmm. Oops. I don't think I want to grind in the eggshell onto that. Hey, want to frost this? <laughs> Frosting left to make a cupcake for Belle. You can give her this one. Oh, hey, good idea. Here, you can take my empty. See if you can get it refilled, okay? Perfect. Uh. Can you refill this cane with frosting? Hey, that's my grandpa's cane. Yeah, he sent me to get it filled. Oh, wow. We need to go back to sugar bunting to get more. After we sell these cupcakes. And I'm coming with you. That sounds like <laughs> It does. I would Bunting love to visit cupcakes. sugar bunting. That would be amazing. Bird's gone. We'll return in time. Let our child rise from it. Hey, rotten bed. On guard, Druid. Okay, yarn boy. Enough is enough. Here we go. She's blind, kid. I didn't miss him because I'm blind, Courtney. I missed him because I can see. I've been I've been pretending to be blind all these years. I knew it. <gasps> I never really had the faith like you, Courtney. But I don't have the faith, Dawn. I was pretending too, so I could be like you. What? You're not blind? No. In fact. I've been stealing and selling artifacts from the pyramid to save up money to get out of this town. <laughs> Me too! I would have left long ago, but I didn't want to leave you here. I know how much being a dead-eyed druid meant to you. I haven't wanted to be a druid for years. I want to go to school and study hotel management. <laughs> I want to study graphic design and start a band. Let's do it. Let's just <laughs> oh, these go. Guys. Right now? Right now. But what about our quest to find something to believe in? I did. How about you? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what I get for learning to fence with candy canes. <laughs> Well, I got the robes now. Better take these before those druids get cold and come back. What a day. So let's see if I can get uh, these two. Twilight and see if she can do anything with them. Never seen this kind of material before. Can you sew it? Shouldn't be a problem. That's the spirit. Just get me a pattern to work from. I should be able to make this happen. There's that positive attitude I was looking for. And with that, I must end the episode. So if you like this video, then feel free to give it a like and remember, it just takes one click to subscribe. This is Chin Ferno signing off.
Well, that's interesting. Having fun. He didn't even block it. He just ran around it. <laughs> Wait, Thank and my you, partner's Sunday. name is Shadow. <laughs> <laughs>